Hi everyone, you are in my kitchen. This is Stephanie. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you all for just being there, giving me thumbs up likes. Some people give me dislikes, but that's okay too. I'm okay with that and I appreciate everybody. So thank you all for coming. Uh, today, I am going to do uh, another video in this smoker. I'm gonna take this off because it's coming off anyway. Yeah. A Presto indoor electric smoker right here. And um, I made ribs in it already, which came out absolutely delicious. I mean, they were some of the best ribs I have had in years since I was a kid. That's how good they were, really. I'm not kidding, <laughs> they were really good. And I didn't really get too much smoke f uh, smell in the house. So, you know, I'm gonna now I'm gonna try this um, pork shoulder. You know, it's a small pork shoulder, probably, I guess they call it half of the pork shoulder. I went and picked it up yesterday and uh, you know, I, I rinsed it off and I'm leaving all the fat on. I'm not doing anything um, about cutting off, off the fat and all that. There is fat at the bottom of it. There's fat at the bottom, as you can see. Uh, but I'm gonna put it in just like it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a paper towel first. What I'm gonna do is put some gloves on today. I never put gloves on, but I'm gonna put them on today because I need to uh, mess around it, like uh, uh, rubbing it. Now I have, I think I've made, I made, no, I, I smoke ribs outside. I have not really smoked uh, uh, a pork shoulder. I made pork shoulder before, but I really haven't smoked it. So this will be my first time and we're gonna see how long it's gonna take. And it may take all day. I mean, it may take more than four hours. I'm gonna put it on high, but it may on high smoke. What is that what it's called? High smoke, yeah, hot smoke. I'm gonna put it on hot. Um, it may take more than four hours, but I think on hot smoke, it might take six hours. But the only way to do six hours is combo smoke. And in combo smoke, it's starting off cool, you know, so at a, at a cool smoke. And I just think it should just be hot. So I'm gonna try it that way. You're gonna see what's going on. All right, so first of all, I'm using some Dijon mustard. And I just I got my gloves on here so I can, so I can put this all over me and uh, all over the, you know what, is this open even? Let's see, yeah it is. Okay, so you know what, I'm gonna, it's easier to do this way. I'll squeeze it on like that. That should be enough mustard right there, I think. So, we got some mustard on here. And I'm gonna put it all over this, uh, this uh, pork shoulder. Now, also by the way, this, this pork shoulder is about four pounds, 4.12 pounds. So it's not really, it's hardly big at all. So, and I, I purposely want to find a smaller one. I didn't want a really big pork shoulder to begin with. So I'm gonna put it on like that. I put this mustard, you see, gloves. Ugh, it's easier to just do it with your hand. But since it's kind of messy, I decided I'd do it like this. I would definitely do it like this. Okay, get some of this mustard up under here, under the crooks and crevices of the whole thing. Now, I'm gonna actually change my gloves and get another pair of these. These are definitely good throwaway gloves. I'm gonna get another pair, so then I'm gonna put all the seasoning on. Just hold on one minute. Now, in my cabinet, I had all kinds of rubs and seasonings and stuff. So, you know, I'm gonna put a combination of all this stuff in here. So this one is um, pork barrel barbecue, all American barbecue rub. So it's got a whole lot of stuff and it's good, of course, for, for a rub. So I'm going to sprinkle um, some of it on, way I know how to do. Open it this way. <laughs> okay, open it that way. So I'm gonna just sprinkle it on here a lot. It's just liberally. And the reason is, because it's, a, it's a, you know, a nice chunk of meat. So I'm gonna put a decent amount on here. So then I'm gonna rub it all together, all in, and it keeps my hands on the nicer side. Then of course I have some paprika. I'm gonna throw a little of that on there for color. Yeah. And then I have some garlic and parsley flake which is really nice seasoning. And then the garlic flavor is always good on it. Put some of that on there. You see, I, and I have it on this, this, uh, this tray because I, it's, it's, uh, 
it's catching all the all the seasons anyway so I can pick it up from there then I have a little toasted onion and garlic and none of the except for the uh, for the uh, this seasoning here on um, the all-american this all-american pork barrel barbecue this stuff um, I'm sure has salt in it it has it has 115 milligrams of sodium which is only five percent which is not a lot really now this one of course has no salt and you do need some salt because this is a big old piece of meat you know it has to get through it so I'm going to throw some of that on there I might actually put a little extra salt on it to begin with then of course we got some stubs and this stubs is with salt with sea salt and it's garlic and lime on here and it's got 40 milligrams of salt not much salt either so I'm going to put a little of that on here okay you guys do what you want with your seasonings on your pork this is this is truly just to see to show you guys um, if this thing will work if this pork um, slider I mean excuse me if this shoulder pork shoulder will work and I got some sweet and smoky I love this stuff uh, it's got 480 grams of sodium this stuff got sodium in it for real so <laughs> that should be kind of good and I got some garlic and herb my one of my favorite favorite spices that I have that I love and by Spain spice and it doesn't have that much sodium in it but yo I can't hardly see that um, looks like 70 grams maybe seven grams of sodium so anyway that's not a lot and I know it doesn't have a lot so put that on here so you see I got all that stuff all over it and I am going to put a little bit of sea salt just a little extra sea salt on here because I, I want it to penetrate so just a little so there's some sea salt for the road okay now I'm going to rub this stuff in and I'm gonna as you can see I can get I can get this all in here maybe even up the, under the crevices and all that fat and I just want it really to stick to get on and stick so I think that's the best hat look at that so just like that get the front end here we go how about that get it all in get it in here nicely that's what I want I want all of this in so very nice look at that very nice I'm, I'm good with this so far so far so good okay stick some of you in here not gonna hurt nothing Okay. All right. It is raining out here today. It's Friday and it's raining out here today. And you know, but it's, it was beautiful yesterday. I so enjoyed myself yesterday outside under my tree. <laughs> it's the simplest thing, but I enjoyed myself under my tree yesterday. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is put is is, is set up the. Uh, the, the uh, indoor smoker so off these gloves go don't really need them for that okay put that over here for a sec I'm going to use some both the apple and the mesquite so here's some apple and of course you guys know if you've seen this before this is this is the part that goes in the hole right here it goes right in that ring and the holes you see these holes here? They have to go up. So I'm sticking them in there. Then I'm going to throw a little bit of apple in here. I'm filling it up to as much as it could possibly go because, because um, it's going to be on all day. So it's like, it's no joke. It's not going to be, <laughs> it's going to be on all day. So put a little bit more of this apple in here. It's got some bigger chunks in here. Um, yeah, there we go. And put you like that maybe. Then I'm going to put the other one, which I have, I think it's hickory. I'm going to, it's a combo, smoke. 
and I'm thinking it's going to really, really be good. If I'm thinking it's going to be as good as the ribs are, if not better, you know, then I can make a pulled pork out of it, you know, and you know, of course, this is not going to be four full pounds of um of of meat because it's only four pounds with all the fat and stuff in it. So I might get a couple of pounds out of it when you get rid of all the all the the uh, fat. But the fat is what gives it the flavor. So it's not going nowhere, staying up in here. And now I gotta make sure that I, ha I can close the You're kind of big. You're a little big. I gotta take you off. See what I could do. Yep, maybe you. Maybe you. It, it, the, the meat really tastes like, my God, that, that meat tastes like it was cooked over fire. It really, it was so good. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop raving about how that meat tastes. It was so good. It was really so good. It almost makes me want to go outside and really smoke with my charcoal, because I've done that before, you know, but it, and, it, and it does take all day, and I don't know, who knows? Might get, a, might get a gumption and go do that, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna put this on top, and it fits fine, it stays on. The next thing I'm gonna do is put this one rack with the handles on the bottom. That's it. And second, the third thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, yeah, I'm gonna put this meat in with the fat side down. The fat side is down and it fits in there just fine. Could have got a little bigger one, I guess, but it fits in just fine. I wanted the one with the bone because the bone gives it the flavor. I know that. So I wanted to have the one with the bone and see how that was going to go. Now, let me wash my hands for a sec. I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing. The, the gloves does prevent you from washing your hands so much. <laughs> But I'm, I'm used to just washing my hands and going on with this. So now I want to put the top on. This is the top. And I want to put the top on. Okay, looks, it fit perfectly to me. And I want to put the plug in. And I'll come back and check it later. I am putting this thing on for, um, blah, 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 on hot smoke. That's hot smoke. I'm putting it on for the four hours that it allows timer. This goes in five minute increments. So it'll take you a minute to get up there. Oops. And of course, guess what? I just passed it by because I was going too fast for myself. So once I get to three something, I gotta slow my butt down. Okay. There we go, that's four. Then I'm gonna press start, which is right here. Guess what? It's gonna smoke. It will not start counting down until it is ready. It won't, it will not, until, until, it, you know, until this thing starts making smoke. So around three, four hours, around about maybe three and a half hours, I'm gonna take a temperature and make sure, it needs to be at like 200 to be tender, my understanding, so. I'm going to take a look at it around three and a half hours and see what it looks like. If, if need be, I'll put it on for another three hours. So it'll be on for six hours or so before um, it's done. But, but I don't think, but I don't think that, uh, you know, I really think that it's going to be just fine. I think, I think because it's only like four pounds, maybe four hours I might do it. But we'll see. This is my trial with this. You guys, you, can, you and I are seeing the same thing at the same time. I do think it's gonna, I really think it's gonna be so good. So, on this rainy day that I can't go outside and really smoke and don't really wanna go outside and really smoke, this is an option for the summertime or anytime you want some smoked meat. So, this may be the, my real reason, like I'm gonna do this again if it comes out the way I like. Okay guys, you'll see. Then you can make all kinds of sandwiches. Unfortunately, there's no games because of COVID. But if it was some games you want to watch or you want to watch a movie or whatever, you can really, this is a, a kind of a crowd pleaser. So, or just your family, okay? But anyway, I'll see you later. I'll be back uh, maybe in about two or three hours. We'll see what it looks like. So see you later. Bye.
All right, guys, it's been on now for like three and a half hours. So I'm going to give it a check. I did give it a check a little sooner. I looked in the pot and I could see that the, um, the bone is starting to come out. So that's a good sign right there. So I don't think it's going to have to be on all day and all night, like I said, because I put it on hot smoke in the first place. I didn't put it on that long term thing going on. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to take it off. Aha. I got to break the seal here to get it off. And I'm going to give it, I'm going to see if I can give it a, uh, a, uh, a test with my thermometer and see where we're at. I'm looking for at least 200. I'm not looking for, when I tested before, it was like 160. So I'm looking for like 200 and then I know the meat's done. Okay. Uh, if I was to put it outside, I understand that at 160, I should wrap it up tight, put it back in there and let it get up to 200. But since it's already covered up, I figured I'm just going to let it get to 200 and see what's up. So, and even the ribs were like at 200 and they was outstanding in this thing. So we're going to give it a try and see where we're at. I'm trying not to hit a bone or anything, but let me try right here and see what you say. Uh, what are you saying? You at 195. Mm hmm. It's right wherever it's, wherever it's hitting right now, it's definitely at 195, 196. It's basically at 200. So I would let it stay in there for this. The next half hour, I'm going to try over here. Give it, this is real close to the bone. I don't want to get that close. That's 194, 195. Yep. I'll give it the next half an hour. And it should really kind of be there. Uh, this this side is 160 though. 160. Where is it going though? Huh. This is like 158, 170, whatever that is. That's that point right there. For 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 sure, for absolute sure, I could put it in. Okay, you see, I'm sticking it everywhere. It's mostly 190, 194. Um, I could definitely keep it in for the next, for the next half hour to an hour. I'm going to put it on, keep it on for like another hour. I think I'm going to add more time for, for an hour. I'll try this side here. It's 195. Yeah, most of it is. Most of it is most certainly at that level. 197, 199. Yeah, this is 200. This is 200 right there. Yes, I say, I did say an hour, but I'm going to absolutely give it a little bit more time. I'm going to give it, okay, so where are we now? We at 28 minutes. I wait, now I'm going to give it another half hour more, so it's going to be an, actually another hour. So I'm going to go, let me stop it for a moment. Stop, go back to hot smoke. And I'm going to do it for the hour. Okay, and start. All right, so in an hour, we'll be back. And for sure, this will be done. So this little four-pound baby didn't take all day. It took all day enough. It'll be, it'll be good for us for dinner because it'll be ready for dinner for sure. But I'll be, in one hour, I'll be back, and uh, we'll see what this looks like. Okay, it, I have to tell you, the house smells incredible. So this is going to make a nice barbecue sandwich. I'm going to pull pork. So we're going to get down after this is over. Okay, be back in an hour. Bye. guys I'm back it is uh, it's been on, on for about four and a half hours and I am so sure it's done here it goes this is really stuck on again so when it gets stuck like this you have to just press it pull this thing out pull this plug out and there we go then it lets go okay I am a hundred percent sure that this is done but I'm going to check it anyway. I'm going to check it now. Got my 
uh, thermometer out here. Turn it on. And let's check. Let's give it a go. One ninety. Yeah, this is okay. This is good. All right, that's a little spot right there. Ooh. Get in here. Ninety one, two. Okay, I'm sure it's done. Now I'm gonna take it out of here. This time I'm taking it out with uh, two forks. Get this a little closer to me. Okay, and one, and two. <laughs> they cut went like the last time, but never you mind. I'm getting it out of here. Okay, only because I want to see what the bot what it really looks like under here. The the fat side stuck to the bottom, just like you did with the ribs. So we see that that's what it, what what seems to happen with it. But it's okay, because that's why the fat side is down. I'm turning it off. Okay. Off, off, off. Stop. Okay. Now, here we are. That really looks good. And what I'm going to do is get, well, I can even use these forks. I want to just go through it. Wow. Look at that. That's the fat. Some of it's the fat, and that's definitely barbecue. And we're gonna pull it. Yeah. Look at that, look at that. I wanna taste a piece of this, and I'm gonna finish pulling it, cause we are gonna eat. But my gosh, look at that, look at that. Take a piece right there. See that? I'm having a piece right from this smoker. And I'm gonna tell you what I really think. I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. You'll see the sandwich when I make it, because I'll take a thumbnail of that. But I'm getting a piece of this right now. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice. It's tender and it's tasty and it tastes like wood. It tastes like it was smoked. It tastes good. Mm. So, guys, but I'm hungry. So, guys, if you want some barbecue, or you want a smoker, or you know, you don't want to go outside, it rained all day today. It's now six o'clock. I think I started at about one. And we can eat. <laughs> and I didn't go outside. So no, it doesn't have that crust that you would, you know, if you stick in the oven or even in the oven oven to get a crust that you really want, it doesn't have that. But it does have that smoke taste, which you do not get in the oven. I suppose you can put it in the oven too, but this baby right there is good. It's worth it, I think. Okay? So, I, and again, I don't, I bought this with my own money. I'm not sponsoring this at all. But I'm telling you, if you want a smoker, this is it. Okay? This is a good indoor smoker for a place, people who don't have, um, the, the, they, they, don't, they can't put a, a smoker outside. They live upstairs. They live in apartments, whatever. But you want to get you some smoked food, this is it. Okay? Anyway, that's my opinion. Uh... Thank you for watching. Please keep watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, ask me any questions. If I can answer them about this, I certainly will. Um, but I think this is a good one. I'm, I'm going to keep it. Okay? See you guys later. Have a good one. Until the next time. Thank you.